Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market and this is going to be my daily forecast for the foreign exchange market for October 13, 2020. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start out by looking at the Great British Pound, the US dollar, and as you can see, most of the pairs that we're going to look at are in trading in the red today, except for the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So we have broken above the 50 moving average. We are just hovering at the 50 moving average at this point. And uh, we need basically need uh, more confirmation of whether or not we are going higher from here. We need a full body green candlestick above the 50 moving average in order to conclude that we are most likely going to go higher. You could make the case that we have made a higher lows. So the lows here and the lows there and so on. Um, that could be. However, there are so many problems with the uh, British economy at, the, at this point that um, that there are many just a bad story about Brexit or a British economy or Corona or anything can basically see this market tumble even further down than we were. We are, though, trading above these moving averages. They will all act as support. So at this point, we'll probably go higher. And the highest that we'll most likely go will be these highs. So we shot up here, but it's very not realistic to say that we are going to those highs at this point. The top of that, that body is kind of is most likely where we'll go if we go higher from here. Um, a breakdown through the 50 moving average will see us to test the exponential moving averages just below here at the 12.94. Further, if we go all the way down here, then we saw that the 200 moving average and the 150 moving average were support. And um, at this point, the, the, the technical indicators are fairly bullish. The MACD is showing signs of, uh, of strength. The same goes for the stochastic. However, we are overbought at this point, and we're getting really close to the top of the bullish band. So we may see a little pullback, or just stay within the range of the 50 moving average uh, in order for the other moving average to catch up, and then we go higher from here. If you look at the US dollar yen, we have broken down even further. We are at the, probably the last support line before we completely break down in this in this uh, uh, this pair we found significant resistance at the uh, at this trend line here and we also have the 100 moving average above which also is significant resistance so uh, this is a market that most likely will will just uh, a little similar to this will just completely collapse towards this uh, support line and it will be around here at one at one hundred and and three point six one four. Uh, when this breaks, we can see a massive decline to the downside. I don't really see an upside to this uh, this pair at this moment. It, every uh, increase um, in this uh, pair is a, a selling opportunity. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all extremely bearish. The MACD, the RSI, the stochastic. Also bullish bound, everything is pointing to lower levels in the US dollar yen. So we have the Euro, US dollar, we broke down and then we rallied again. And now we're trading above the 50 moving average. Um, we may see some weakness here, similar to the Great British Pound. We may see a retest of the 100 moving average, that is possible. However, this the breakdown here looked like that we have quite a lot of support underneath well, from the 200, the 20 and the 40 exponential moving average. If we have a green candlestick above the 50 moving average, then we'll go to retest these highs. However, there is a lot of noise here that we have to get through. We previously tried to get through it. It did not, uh, did not happen. Um, I do believe that we're going to see a pullback before we can go to these highs. If we break through the 100 moving average, then we have to go all the way down to the 150 moving average at 11.44. So, us dollar, US dollar, we tried to rally, we are breaking down again. We have shown just signs of exhaustion. 
At this point, we're going to test the 20 and 40 exponential moving average. If that breaks, we'll go down to the 200 moving average around the 0 0.71322. Technical indicators are mixed. Then we are overbought at this point. We are above 70. The MACD looks like it's going to turn around. It's quite far away from the signal line. So we'll not have a complete collapse, but probably a gradual grind towards the 100 moving average to um, get some momentum and then go up again. Stochastic is looking weak at this point. It's about to, to turn around, go ahead to the, to the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. And the bullish band is indicating that we are about to turn around and go towards the lower Bollinger band. A break to the upside, we will run into resistance at this area here. We saw this uh, historically was an uh, area where there was a lot of resistance. So we are actually trading in between the 100 moving average and this resistance area here. So I do favor the downside and then, and then going up again. Uh, that is my bet for this market. We see the US dollar, Canadian dollar, we are about to, we have it turned around and we will most likely go looking for this rain, this channel again, which was previous uh, support and resistance. Uh, it probably will take a few trading days, probably weeks before we get to these levels. So when we get to those, this will act as resistance and the support. Uh, but yes, we will most likely go there. All the technical indicators are indicating that we are going to lower levels. They are all fairly bearish at this point. A break to the upside, the 50 moving average will act as resistance. So um, increasing this pair is a basically a selling opportunity. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So good luck and thank you very much.